have an ID at the moment. But I, he gonna be a bro, he gonna be a uh He a lock, so I got everything. Throw that bitch, dumbass. Man, I'm open. Fucking shot. I'm open, fool. Got you. Oh, I'm trapped. Ah, that bitch too. Huh? Got my ties with the country. What's good, YouTube man? We back with another NBA 2K25 video, man. By the thumbnail and the title, man. I know why y'all here. Based off these clips that y'all just seen, man, my player was a 66 overall, man. But my player was a 66 overall. Just imagine if you made this lockdown build, man, and you actually grinded your lockdown build and upgraded your lockdown build, how crazy your player will go. Um, we not go, we gonna make sure that this video is not too long, man. Um, we gonna keep it short, sweet, and simple, man. I got a picture in my phone of my exact lockdown build, man. We gonna go recreate the build, and I'm gonna tell y'all what y'all should put on the build, man, after having what 60 to 70 hours on 2k already let me see how many hours i got I probably got like 50. go check and see 76 hours y'all on 2k already bro 2k only been out literally it's only the what what's today it's only the 11 bro 2k came out what on the fourth so yeah i've been hawking bro so appreciate y'all for coming out man if y'all click this make sure y'all subscribe man so y'all don't miss no more nba 2k 25 gameplay or news or any if anything come up man just make sure y'all subscribe um like i said i'm gonna give y'all the best animations i'm gonna give y'all the best everything man for a lockdown bro like literally the best everything um this is the build right here like i said my switch my uh switchable lockdown defender was well is still a 66 overall bro he was going crazy i'm gonna give y'all the exact jump shot i'm gonna give y'all the best everything bro because literally y'all know bro motion style matter on y'all player also man so we're gonna go ahead and create this lockdown build man i'm gonna go ahead and look at this image and if y'all need to stop or skip or pause anything on the video man make sure y'all do that and after i get y'all the build man i'm gonna try to leave some gameplay up here maybe some red gameplay or some more clips of my lockdown uh plan so i can get more clips of, of how you will be playing also um I went small four six eight. A lot of people was wondering. Uh, yeah, my player is a is a uh, he not fully upgrade. A lot of people was wondering, do I think six six? I mean six eight is slow. Um, I don't think they slow. I don't think six eights are slow at all. I feel like you just have to pe play your position right on the court to be able to get a steal every time that you want to get a you know that you want to get a steal. Cause even even on my six nine, like one of my main builds is a six nine iso build he only have an 80 speed and 80 agility but it is very important though you doing that with a lot though but if you want to at this point right here in the builder man if you want to go uh 215 bro and get that 84 agility 78 speed you can um i it still come out with the same name but if you want to go 220 and not get the, the extra agility and the extra speed i went 220 but i'm gonna try out the the uh 215 just in case y'all want to do this so I advise y'all to just copy everything that I'm doing right here. Just in case y'all want the extra speed. Um, Obviously, with a lockdown, man, you want to make sure 100% fact, bro, that you have uh, maxed out three, which go to 87. Uh, how the shooting is in this game, my next build, I'm not going to lie, my next build, I might make a... If y'all play 2K20, then y'all know the Slash and Playmaker. Um, they didn't have that much high of a three, and shooting is already inconsistent on this game. So my next build, I might go like a 74-3 or a 73, like something like that, like how point fours was back in the days, bro. I'm probably going to go something like that and get like a 75, like a low three ball instead of an 80. Only because the shooting is inconsistent. Like, it's really not no point of going like an all-maxed out three if, if even point guards cannot shoot. So you got to... Basically, when you play in 2K, bro, you play for three days, bro, you got to analyze what's going on in the game. As long as you got your 85 mini, bro, you still get your dead eye and your set shot. And I can... Now, I'm, I'm happy that y'all here. Y'all lucky y'all here watching this video. So if you're here, make sure you share this to a friend that needs to see this. When you get level 15 in the season, you get to boost your tier two badge up to one. 
one like literally if it's silver you get the boots to go um do they show your tier i don't know if they show the tier two badges that you get okay these are your tier two badges these are the tier one and these are the tier two so these badges right here is the badge that you will be able to boost um up to silver i mean if it's silver you get the boost to go if it's gold you get the boost to hall of fame and if it's hall of fame you get the boost to legend when you hit 15. so if you want to go off that and try to get like a hall of fame badge off the rip so far it's looking like i don't know about the 97 block though but let's go back to the picture though and see if we can get what we got bro so we got 85 uh 78 um no pass act i know y'all probably thinking like no pass act is crazy on a on the lockdown bro because we all know how the steals is on this game i understand that but if you want to be a cop lockdown bro you just got to know how to pass the ball bro you got to know how to pass the ball and when to pass the ball bro it's more of pass iq because on my lock if y'all watch the gameplay bro i wasn't even getting the ball stolen like that bro I really was not getting the ball stolen like that. So, and I'm going to tell you, I'm just looking at the picture. If y'all want to pause it and copy everything that I got going on right here, everything is 83. Everything, all my physicals is 80 and up. So, that's pretty good for a lockdown. You got to really think about that. Like, all your physical is 80. Like, that's that's pretty good, bro. Um, Let's go down and tweak some stuff real quick. Um, I'm giving y'all the exact builder, bro. Like, this is my exact builder. It's just sometimes they throw extra stuff on there that you're not even trying to put on. So, you got to mix like this. Like, okay, not that. Okay, I think everything right here is good, right? So, so far, you got everything important out the way for a lockdown, which is shooting and dribbling and physicals, right? As a lockdown, you're here for defense. And shooting in the corner, not really slashing, not really dribbling the ball, passing the ball. So you bait and, and rebounding, right? So you only got three more things that you need to upgrade. You already at 93. I'm gonna tell y'all which route I went. I went the standard dunk route. The reason why, um, my first day playing, bro, I put standard dunk on my build, based in off gameplay from uh 24, 2K24. Standing dunks was super OP, bro, and they still OP if you make standing dunk on your build. Instead of trying to go for a layup, which is inconsistent, if you play 2K25, you know you will miss a lot of a layup. You wouldn't even be able to run and dunk the ball because the out of bounce is so sensitive. You run out of bounds. You run towards the out of bounce, your feet going out, and you got people just putting their hands up, and it's hard to get a it's hard to get a drop and dunk if you ain't got posterizer on Hall of Fame and, and gold and stuff like that. So I went the standing dunk route so standing dunk helps you actually run to the basket out the corner and if you got a little guard on you bro you just go straight up on him um i let my man make this build man he went 90 he went 90 standing dunk which i think is super duper good because you get that gold rise up at a tier two bad so if you get 15 you can get rise up at hall of fame that's super duper good because what is this tier? yeah that's tier two you get that at Hall of Fame, or you can also, you know, put your paint, your paint badge up or, or remove or enforcer up to go. So this right here is looking good. But this is this is the route that I went right here. Let me go ahead and get my um my rebounding right. Um I went 60 rebounding to the civil fact, bro. If you know rebounding is low-key good in this game. Offensive rebounding is super good in this game, man. So this right here. Is wait, let me put this back down. I did. I went 80. Let me give y'all my exact one. I went 83 and I went 83 rebound. This is what I went, chat. For some reason, it's something that's up that I don't got. 60, 71. Boom. This is my exact build that y'all seen in them, in them clips. This is my exact build. I copy everything from my builder, bro copy everything from my builder um but if you don't like this man you could tweak this out other ways man like i say if you could get that 90 uh what's the name if you don't want to go with the super high perimeter you can still go 82 and still get what can you get you can go 83 but if you still want to keep your um let me go back to the other way 
Boom. Okay, if you still want to keep your challenger, you can keep 82. You want to keep your silver challenger. You want to keep your steel, you know, and all that. If you want to tweak something out, you know, like 82, you know, something like this. So you get all silver defensive ads and try to get more, you know, standing dunk or more driving layup like that. You can go 70, 75. I'm just tweaking it out for y'all, man, to show y'all other ways y'all can make this build low key go crazy. Uh, if you don't, if you don't really care about that silver pogo, um, you don't gotta go that. You wanna try to get more agility? I'm gonna tell you, show y'all where you can get more agility. You can low key go 50. If you're trying to be tourist, more like on ball and passing lane steals, you can go with the 86. If y'all wanna pause these, I'm making like th that was just three, four different. Lockdown builds I just made. That was three, four different. After I showed y'all the one I made me. If y'all want to go, I think I'd about showed y'all everything, bro. Like the best builds right here, bro. Like these are the best. You know what I'm saying? Like he's the best build. He got his speed up. You know what I'm saying? He got a move with force. Uh, if you want to go 75 and you want to get that pogo back, you can go 76 and get the pogo back. It's a lot of different ways you can go with this, man. But if y'all like anyone I just seen, bro, and anything else was. That y'all see that was important, man. Y'all can go ahead and make this build, man. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit that like. All right, man. Now that y'all have seen the build, man, I'm going to actually load up, man, and give y'all the best animation, bro. Some of y'all is just here for the jump shots, the animations, the motion styles, everything like that, man. I'm going to go, go ahead and get y'all right, man. From everything so far. I'm going to go ahead and load up my six overall. Um, I haven't played a lot with this build, but when I was playing with him as a 66, I maxed out his three-pointer. Uh, I think he he was rebirth too. This build was rebirth also. As you can see, he's a 66 brown, bro. He's not a black. So I was winning on this build when I did uh, play with him at the time. I haven't played on him since, bro. I was making new builds. And so now I'm going to give y'all boys the best everything for this, for the lockdown build, man. Uh, first... I'm gonna start off from the motion style, bro. A lot of people don't know, bro, having my fault. A lot of people don't know, bro, having a motion style is very, very important. I was using a motion style, but I had took it off. Uh, I think when I was playing my career, but it's a couple good motion styles, bro, that you do wanna use, man. I'm gonna give y'all the best ones, bro, that I recommend for a lockdown. If you want to be hockey in the passing lane, if you want to be hockey in the passing lane steals, make sure you go Drew Eubanks, E Banks, whatever his name is. Drew Eubanks, bro. Make sure you put his on, bro. He have a fast, fast run. I think uh 2K Labs already um did they um they they I guess you call it science on which which motion style had the best run so yeah two and 2k laps already did they break down man and, and drew drew ebanks has the fastest run if you want to be hockey in the passing lane still he has the fastest run alice caruso has very good like a defensive mix with a little bit of good speed like you will be able to play defense like on ball like you see how jimmy butler plays on ball like some of these matters when it come to playing on ball like see how he squats down lower with uh Justin Winslow or oh, my fault but y'all can't y'all can't even see these hold on move, move. boom okay Drew Eubanks y'all is the fastest this one right here is the fastest run if you want to be hawking in the lane just give you the fastest sprint for your lockdowns when you're trying to hawk the lane the passing lane steals uh Alex Caruso uh he has a good fast run but it's morally on playing defense like this is just for on ball defense but if you want to want to all around one bro go gg jackson bro i was using gg jackson he got a good fast run and he also got a good on ball defense animations too so them three right there is the best three if you want to be the let the, the lock that hawk passing lane still i say go drew e banks um another thing that's important uh if you making this exact build man you want to make sure you got a dribble Pull up, bro. Pro 2 dribble pull up is the best dribble pull up in the game. Uh, it was already confirmed um, from when the game had first dropped. From some people who was really hawking the game a lot, bro. Uh, and now, with all y'all waiting for it, what everybody is waiting for, man, I say the best for last fight in the recording. 
make sure I hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, man, just in case a new one come out. And y'all need an update on the, the, the best another jump shot that comes out later. But I have y'all with the best lockdown jump shot. Uh, this is the jump shot that I was using in those clips and in the clips that y'all going to continue to see. Uh, all my people, man, I have been giving them this jump shot. This is the exact jump shot. Y'all just see me load my player up. I haven't changed anything. If you go back and look at the clips in the beginning of the video or stay to the end of the video, you will see that this is the exact release. It looks exactly how to what I was using. Some of the YouTubers be giving y'all fake jump shots, man. Um, but I'm here and I'm giving y'all the real, the real T, man, so we all can just be crazy. I ain't selfish game. Let's make this a competitive game where we all can be good at the game. But... Boom. Giannis Antetokounmpo, Giannis' brother, man, is for the base. Uh, Moses Moody is for release one. And Kevin Durant is release two. I went quick, push, 70-30. If you feel like this jump shot is too slow, um, I would say you can speed it up. But from my opinion of playing this game so far, as much as I have played it, uh, faster jump shots is slower than it's slower than um, not slower, but faster jump shots is harder to time than slower jump shots. It's easier to time a slower jump shot than it is to time a fast jump shot, bro. So I say keep it just like this and just practice on going to my court and practice on time that will push. But that's everything, man, with my lockdown build. Now that y'all have seen everything, man, this is my lockdown build. Yes, he's a 66, and he do green, bro. Uh, I got my hot spots first, red game, uh, in the corner, and then I did the um, I did the shoot around, not the shoot around, but you know the shooting drill, and I end up getting more hot spots, man. So this is the build. Y'all seen the gameplay? I'm gonna show y'all some more gameplay. That's gonna be it. We out, man. Appreciate y'all staying all the way to the end. Appreciate the subscribe. Share this to a friend. They need a lockdown jump shot. Yeah, bro.